I'm Ellie Wheeler. I do uh, tax and budget and family economic security work at Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families, and we just got some brand new data from the Casey Foundation. It's kids count data that tells us all kinds of indicators of how families are doing in Arkansas. And right now I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into the family economic security side. First, let's talk about the unemployment rate. You might have heard that we have pretty low unemployment rates right now. It's all the way down to 3.5%. Even though our unemployment rates are low and improving, we do still have more kids and a higher rate of kids living in families with low quality job stability. And that's because the unemployment rate doesn't capture things like job quality, job stability, is it year round, is it full time, is it predictable, do you have predictable hours and wages, and are the uh, wages enough to lift your family out of, above the poverty line. Here's a typical Arkansas family. Unfortunately, more families like this are lacking full-time year unemployment compared to last year. That means we are actually in the top 10 states for kids growing up in households that lack stable employment. Arkansas is in the top five worst states for child poverty. There's 188,000 kids in Arkansas who live in poverty, and our poverty rate increased from 26 to 27% this year. So we know that even though unemployment is down, parents are still struggling to find quality jobs, and kids are more often living in poverty these days in Arkansas. What about teenagers? Teenagers are a great indicator of where we're headed. They are kids who are about to enter the workforce, or not. Unfortunately, Arkansas just dropped into the 10 worst states for the rate of kids 16 to 19 who are neither in school nor working. So what can we do about it? We know that parents are struggling to find quality work, kids are growing up in households below the poverty line, and teenagers aren't on the right track. Fortunately, there are plenty of great things that we can do about it. We can enact an earned income tax credit at the state level that would build on the federal version. Those tax credits help low-income working families bolster their wages and make up for some of the lack of job quality that we have in Arkansas. Pre-K is a great resource that we need to invest in to make sure that all kids have the opportunity to succeed. Pre-K helps kids by putting them in a positive, nourishing learning environment in their most critical brain development years. So what can we do to help teenagers? Quality after school and summer programs are proven to help kids stay on the right track and they also have the added benefit of helping their parents have the peace of mind staying at work knowing that their kid is somewhere safe. Enacting a state EITC, investing in quality pre-K, and also funding quality after school and summer programs are things that we can do to help make sure that kids and families in Arkansas are doing the best that they can. What we can't do is assume that a low unemployment rate means that everyone's doing okay.